that club. That's what I said. I don't want to hit that club. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't want to hit that club. That's my favorite shot. Oh, oh, oh. Rip. Oh. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. I've been seeing what everybody's been talking about. Everybody loved the James O footage. So you know when I was with them, I obviously shot a whole bunch of stuff. I told you guys I had a wedge video. So today is the wedge video. Hidden spinners with James O. Uh, we're gonna start out with him showing me some techniques with some longer irons, some iron work because I need that work. We all need to be able to get to the green, but if we miss the green, we need them spinners, baby. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys, this Christmas has been okay and great. Also, I will be picking the winner today. I'll hit you up in the comments on YouTube for the uh, giveaway on the Mavic Driver. Before we dive into the video, I wanna show you guys how excited James O gets about the swag on the golf course. I pulled into the parking lot and showed him some special shoes that I got before he even knew they were out. Let's show, I'm gonna show you how excited he got. So check this out real quick and then we'll get into the video. All right, so James wants to know, he, he sees right. the shoe bag, he likes what's in there. I told him to open it up, I have to get it on tape. Ooh! <laughs> Fire! Everyone knows Jordans, they spin more. Come on now. These are hot. Great fives. That's beautiful. But my dog, he like he has the wing foot fives. I got the and wing. I want the wing foot fives those really are, bad. Those, those are dope. I couldn't get those. They, they spin more. <laughs> it's proven. Jordans. He's been warming up. The Wizards back. I got three iron in hand. I'm gonna just let him watch me. He's he's a feel, he's a seed coach. Okay, so he's just gonna watch and he's gonna designate what I need. So here we go. Nice. I like that. A little higher. Yeah, little, a little higher. I think we need to get that ball up just a little bit. Stand just a touch farther away from it. Yeah. Touch farther? Yeah. There you go. That's it. Mmm, that was higher. I like how you're swinging. I feel good. I'm not swinging hard. It's real smooth. I allow myself to get back. Give you time. Give me time, especially with longer clubs, you know? Yeah. I allow myself to get back there. Right. Because I know if I get back here, I'll have the proper speed right. to get through the ball. And I think that's the hard thing is, when you when we put a three iron in our hands, it's a tough club to hit. Right. It's one of the toughest clubs to hit, very unforgiving, and we get anxious and tight and we want to get it over with. Right, right. And part of this practice is, practicing the mindset of giving you time and saying, hey, it's hard enough as it is. Give yourself time. And you know what? You will miss. Just be okay with it. Right, right, right. But, but that mindset is what's gonna set you apart to actually hit better shots. Right. What, what I like to see is, I like you to release like that. Right. Just come a little bit more from the inside. Right. Don't like, I, I think this, the hardest thing in the world is take the hands out. Say, how do we make the hands more quiet? Don't make the hands more quiet. Accommodate it. Right. Be in a position where you can allow it to be like release that. hard. Start a little bit more from the inside. Right. To be really technical right now, we're trying to make your swing more circular. It's a little bit more in here, inside circle. A little bit more over here, outside That's circle. Cool. And it's less less of a wide yeah right, so yes 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 yeah, yes yeah. i love that so close yeah. i that love that holy. i don't mind that see that that'll again. work that'll work that was nice you've improved so much since i last seen you and you know all that is all that is is just work right yeah you, you actually right. haven't i could tell you haven't been searching right. you've just been grinding Trying, yeah you've been practicing hard but not trying nine different things i right. can i can completely i can tell in one swing ago yep you're on yeah. it it was funny like after i saw you in texas i was hitting the ball really well then i got to a point where i was just pulling shots, like left and right pulling shots. And man, I remember hitting you up, being like, yo, I'm hitting pulleys. And you're like, well, if you're hitting pulls like that, just hit cuts. Just like go out and hit cuts. And you know, when you first told me that, I'm sitting there like, we don't need to hit cuts. Like we've been working on hitting draws. Like I just need to like loosen that draw up and right. not make it so pulley. Right. And then as I was practicing that way, it just quieted down. If lack for a better phrase or word or whatever, it kind of toned down that pull. Right, right. So it didn't really, it wasn't really me hitting cuts. Cuts, it was just like dink cut in my mind. Yep. And it was turning that hard pool to like Less. a normal draw. Yes, yes. So then it got to a point where now I was like, okay, if I go to a course and I'm too pulley, when I go to the range to work on it, just work on hitting cuts. Yep. It'll straighten the shot out. You have a different like thought in your mind. Sure. All right, if I'm hitting it like this, try to hit it like that. You know, it'll probably, you'll find out what your problem yeah. is or what the yeah. flaw is. 
you don't know what you don't know. Right, right. If we knew, we would just fix it. Right. But in that process, in that, that long process is the hard part of just sticking to it and keep doing it right. and learning. And it's like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to learn. Right, right, right. But you're learning. Loosen up those hands, loosen up that mind. Let's stand a little farther away. A little high out to the right. That's beautiful. That is stunning right there. Right down the top. That is deep. Uh, 225, 230. Easy. Great. That was Great. a little heavy. Yeah, but you it's know, out there. but that's the thing. Great mindset, good process. You know, and the result was a little heavy down the middle. Your mind's like, Ugh. it's not like that. Right, right, right. It's just, and, and you know, we talked about that. it's a big part of playing good golf is like how to deal with that shot. Like, right. how do you do it? You just do it again. Right, right, right. Mmm. That's nice. Really hitting it great, Bryce. I'm hitting them good, man. I'm, I'm in a decent spot right now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's let that thing swing. Let's see. Let's see some speed. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. That's the nicest I've ever hit that club. <laughs> that was nice. That's the nicest I've ever hit that club. Yeah, reach for it just a little bit. Yeah, always, along with the club, you always want to be reaching just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Right. Two iron, ladies and gentlemen. The thing I like about the two iron is that, like, yeah, you're not looking to carry it like 275, but, like, if you hit it right, it's just going to run. Run. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I hit this decent, but not like how I have off the deck these last two. I got you, baby. Let's go. Stand tall. There you go. Let that club head go. Be free. Swing it hard. Great. That's how you want to miss it. Right. Just, yeah. That's just not runny. Bad. Yeah. Just runny. I love that. Two yeah. iron. Two iron. Ladies and gentlemen. I've never hit my two iron that nice. They treat golf like it's like math class. And you get tutored at one time. You learn two plus two is four. And then you don't go home and work on it. And then you just show up and try to take a test. That might work in school, but it doesn't work in the school of golf. Trust me. So right now, we're gonna we're gonna work on the wedges. And you know me, baby. I like to hit a spin, spin, a spinner. Everyone likes to hit the spinner. Everybody likes everybody to hit the spinner, hit but the everybody spin. can't hit the spinner. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna tighten my spinner game down. Um, we're about to find a hole out here. Um, and Lakewood Country Club, shout out to them. And we're gonna just work on that spinner game, baby. We we're gonna, some spinners. We're gonna watch this real quick. We're gonna watch this action for a little prep to what we're about to do oh oh that was nice oh oh <laughs> dog that spin like i, I need to go up, i need to go up there i love that i gotta go up here amongst the geese and let you guys see james oh that was spinny <laughs> that stopped right where it was at Oh, I'm showing you this just so y'all know before y'all go like, who is this guy? Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, that was crazy. That was different. What club was that? That was my 60. What were you hitting before? All right, I wanted to show you guys that before I started hitting shots. Um, you know, my fans, my subscribers, I love you guys. But you guys know I hit nips, okay? And this is the guy who taught me how to hit nips. He'll take less credit because when I met him, I knew how to hit a spinny shot. But he, like, really taught me, like, how to hone in on putting more spin on the ball. I love walking on the golf course. Yeah. Um, when I'm teaching, we use a lot of carts and we play golf really fast in carts. But I love walking. I like actually feeling the ground with my feet as I walk up and kind of it gives you more time to enjoy the shot that you just hit right and just kind of take it all in you know you're so stressed out over golf like over the ball it's so everything's so high stress right right and you get kind of sidetracked of like man it's beautiful out here right it's great you know the sun's setting. look at that look at that out here. that part of it is just underrated it's so underrated and right. it's it's hard to explain you have to kind of do it right right to feel what it feels like just to be out here on the field right you know it's it's one of those where you, you just can't have a bad day on the golf course nope. and if you do you're thinking about all the wrong things. too much yeah you're thinking too about much. all the wrong things we're in long beach california i i mean folks like you guys know i live in scottsdale arizona and but it doesn't feel better until the sun goes down right now like i'm wearing 
t-shirts, no sleeves, and pants. And like this feels fan. Fantastic. Uh, so what do you think about here when you're looking at this? I, I like to have fun. You know, I love hitting spinners. Yep. And it just gets my touch, my execution. You got to be confident. I yeah. mean, it, it, it teaches you all the important things about how to hit a pitch shot. Yep. On this shot, it's going to look like I'm hitting a 100-yard shot. Yeah. And it's worth 40 yards. Right, right. And are. after I hit this, you're going to realize when you see what the ball does, you're going to say, wow, you know, that had a lot of spin. Right, Well, right. to create the spin, you need the speed. And you got to hit it much harder. If you don't do it right, it goes long. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I got that. I'm going to rip this one. Oh, that's spinning. That's spinning. Oh, that's crazy, dog. Downwind, Downwind. folks. Downwind. That's ridiculous. Damn, that's a lot of spin. That ball's coming back at least eight feet. That's like 14. Yeah. <laughs> but how many golf coaches can come out here? Cold after teaching me how to hit the driver and the long ball <laughs> and just hit those nips like that. That's fantastic right there. That's just in the bag at, at all times right there, James? That's my favorite shot. Okay. okay. That's, that's my favorite shot. Shout out to Bridgestone. I mean, at the end of the day, they just hit the nippiest shots. I mean. That's nice. Yeah. Nice and big. Take your time. I mean, that's ridiculous. Starting to get it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, got, I got a smile there. Yeah. I got a smile there. A little bit bigger back. Okay. Square stance. Square stance. Yeah, not so open. Getting a little cutty. It's a little steep. Nice and big, nice and wide coming down. Feel wide. That's too high. Yeah, it's too, it's too down and across. It's more what you do here. It needs to be more this there, way. And, and right it's now. too across. Okay. It's too across. It needs to feel a little bit more that and way. Finish out there. Yeah, a little bit. Don't worry about the finish so much. Worry about the, the downswing. The downswing? Yeah. Better. Way better. Way better. Just feel that. Just feel that. Take your time. Oh, that's ridiculous. See how that was straighter? Look, look at that divot. Right. Straighter. It's little, not, yeah, it's, it's not, not so down. Gabby. Yes. We need to get about going up and down on the same plane. But that to you feels like this. It does, but that, I'm not doing you're that. You're not, no. Right, right. But when it comes over, that's when it gets a little bit steep. And you could see the difference in the divot. Right. You know, the real shallow ones, you just like nip it perfect. And then in the ones you get a little bit over, they go straighter into the ground. Right. So let's grab those and do it again. Nippy. Nippy. Nice and big. Release it early. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Come on. Rip. Oh. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Call up Artisan. That was nice. Hey, I need, a, I need, I need 64. 64. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James. So we worked on a lot of things today. We were working on standing a little bit further away from yep. the ball, coming a little bit more in a circular fashion from back here through that way rather than kind of like this way right over the top i love where your game has gone i love the work we did today yeah but but it's more of a reflection of what we've been doing in the past you know like i remember our first lesson i mean i think you sliced the ball for like the first hour <laughs> it, he was frustrated you were frustrated as time goes on we have a different approach a different mental approach yeah i think the change in the mental approach really allowed you to become this good right. it, it's far more than the swing position it, it really is right. it's, it's far more it's the idea of how to deal with outcome. Really excited about uh, breaking par. Yeah, we need you, that. You know, we need it's, that. it's gonna be, you're gonna cry and I'm gonna cry. Yeah, because that road to it is so painful and fun at the same time. Right. It's a grind. And it just wouldn't be that exciting if it was that easy. Right, 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 right. It'd right? be like, why am I out here wasting my time? It's right. easy, anybody can do it. Right. right. Yeah. But I mean, this game's humbling. And it takes a lot of courage to be that guy and not get frustrated. Yeah. It, it takes a lot of bravery and courage to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's just, you know, to take your ego out of it and be like, you know what? That just didn't work out. But right. you know what? I'm going to try it again. But
but that's what's gonna make you great. Right, right. And it takes a lot of courage to just like expect less right. and do more. Right, right. So hey, appreciate you guys chiming in. This is the road to scratch. We already talked about breaking par. This is the journey to scratch right here. We're working with James O, Dr. O. Came out here, Long Beach. You know I'm in Scottsdale. I come out, I fly, I drive. I come see my guy. He's in town. Really nice course down here, right by the uh, Long Beach airport. If you guys are in the area, you should come check it out. And then also check out my guy who will be on the far left end of the range. He's a good person. He doesn't bite. He talks. He laughs. He does all that. So come out here. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. Comment down below and let us know. You know what I'm saying? Like what you think, you know, I need to do next to get that thing below that even part. I'm trying to get below, I'm trying to get below 80 right now. Actually, forget even part right now. I'm trying to get below 80. So what you guys think? Um, I think we did a great job today with James. I appreciate you, dog. Love you, baby. Yeah. We'll see y'all next time. Journey to Scratch.